And last but not least, Pete Davidson's new special, Alive from New York, is also available on Netflix and streaming now. If you notice, the Pete Davidson is a current cast member, probably not for long. I'll get into that in a bit. But a current cast member of Saturday Night Live and has been for several years. And Saturday Night Live, I believe their tagline is, or they start off every show or something like that with Live from New York. It's Saturday Night or something like that. So I th- believe his the name of his uh, comedy special, Alive from New York, is kind of a play on that. You know, live from New York, but it's alive from New York and also kind of like a hat tip towards his mental illness and issues that he goes through. You know, I'm sure bouts of contemplating suicide and with recent deaths of folks that have committed suicide, it's kind of like a, a nod to that as well. And Pete Davidson I really, really liked his first special. This one was was dope as well. And it's cool to see his progression. You know, he's a, he's a comic that's 10 years in. Most comics start getting their stride 10 years in. Um, and, and I think he's definitely definitely on that uh, tra- uh, trajectory. And I said after his first special, which I'm pretty sure I, I, I spoke about here on the podcast, that he is he seems to me to have a quality of a comic that could definitely be a GOAT. Like, there's, like, a charisma and, like, a charm to him that as long as he, you know, continues to stay committed to it, which apparently he has, because he's still, you know, he's still working, he's still grinding, and now he's 10 years in. Yeah, if he continues on that path and he continues to apply that work ethic, like, he, I really think he'd be, like, a big time, like, all-time great comics. Like, this special just made me, like, excited to see his next one. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I laughed. I thought it was dope how he he went at like, one of his exes, uh, Ariana, Ariana Grande. And, you know, he has a kind of, like, a storied, like, backlog of chicks that he's been with. Like, famous girls that were his girlfriends. And, you know, things didn't work out. But, like, girls like Ar- Ariana Grande and uh, Larry David's daughter... Larry David, you know, like the creator of Kirby Enthusiasm and co-creator of Seinfeld, his daughter. Um, well, so there's like a bunch of other ones, but like Ariana Grande, like wrote a song about him and kind of like shit on him, but said he was like well hung and, you know, like had a big dick or something like that. And just like weird shit. And he was like, you know, I don't really go on social media. Like I don't have uh, social media and don't really do like too many interviews. So, you know, this is my outlet. And he like worked her into like his his bits which i thought was dope and and funny obviously there was a dope interview also that pete did with charlemagne that i'll link to in the episode notes that you guys should check out it's about like an hour long and you know he takes a deeper dive into like relationship issues and stuff like that but also his mental illness which i think is in like an important watch and i'm sure stories like his and you know how somebody with the platform like charlemagne's how he's always like, you know, he has a, a book about mental illness called The Shook Ones, uh, um, Anxiety Playing Tricks on Me, which I read and have spoken about on, on the podcast. And, you know, he's a, a, a big proponent about like mental illness and therapy and stuff like that. And somebody of his caliber having the platform that he does, shining a light on folks like Pete Davidson and, you know, making it OK to like speak about issues that you go through and how he checks himself like in and out of rehab every so often. Stories like that I feel are important for folks to hear, folks that are going through stuff like that themselves or that maybe they know people that are going through stuff like that or just to, in general to have it out there like in the in the zeitgeist so that we understand that type of shit more and what people are going through. Because I could imagine, you know, you know, rewind time back a bit and, you know, somebody like Pete Davidson would have maybe been killed himself with some of the shit that he speaks about that he's like gone through and has has felt and stuff like that. And I say, you know, rewind back in time in the sense of, you know, not having the information at your fingertips that we do now because of the internet internet and because of interviews like like that one and platforms like like Charlemagne's and books and information and dialogue about touchy sub- subjects that make folks realize, you know what, it is okay to be me. It is okay, you know, I'm not the only one dealing with this. I don't have to like kill myself 
and obviously you know it's not that easy and there's varying degrees of shit that folks deal with i just hope that pete is at a place where he seems to be at now where he's good with the way things are going he's happy with himself he's comfortable and just continues doing what he loves to do and continues doing comedy and continues to be happy and you know i know like he wants to be married and have a kid and stuff like that i hope he finds that he seems to be like checking out he kind of like shit on snl a little bit (laughs) during the Charlemagne interview not shit on it but kind of kind of like alluded to he thinks his his time is done there and he has asked like previous um snl cast members that are no longer cast members like when they knew it was time to leave you know like folks like adam sandler and stuff like that and they pretty much tell him stuff like you know when you know you know and he said he's kind of felt like that the last couple years so you know i think that that's probably gonna be sunsetting soon but he's in like movies like suicide squad part two um he has a couple other movies coming out he i know he really looks up to and admires adam sandler and like loves his like business model which is pretty much you know, doing stand-up comedy, but also, you know, being in movies and stuff with all your friends. And, like, every movie that you're in, you know, you have a, like, a bunch of your, you get roles for for a bunch of your friends and stuff like that. He seems to be trying to, like, model after that, which who wouldn't, right? Like, that'd be a pretty dope existence. But, yeah, man, Pete, thank you for the laughs. I'm saying that, like, you're actually gonna hear this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, check out his special pete davidson's alive from new york it's definitely worth a watch streaming now on netflix and that was episode 147 of the spun today podcast folks i'm your host tony ortiz and i appreciate you guys listening stick